Yes, it is another coffee video. Did you think I was exaggerating when I said we were addicted? Anyway, we've got two more, two more uh, coffee making powerhouses. Teeny tiny one. For your portable espresso making pleasure, which is great because espresso machines are not typically super portable. They are not. But enter the handheld espresso makers from Wakako. We've reviewed the brand's Nano Presso before and love it. Honestly, if we have to pick one coffee making device for travel, that's usually it. Also, who says we ever limit ourselves to one? <laughs> anyway, Wakako has a few more options available and we wanted to test them out to see how they compared. This is the small and light mini presso in S, which is made of partially recycled materials. And this is the Pico Presso. And they're for two very different types of brewers. The Pico Presso is for true coffee snobs. Uh, I mean, connoisseurs. <laughs> Uh, who truly have their coffee game dialed in. And the Mini Presso NS is for those who want a quick and easy shot no matter where they are. No extra equipment required. Because it takes those little aluminum Nespresso capsules, the original ones, to be precise. So let's compare the two, shall we? Let's make some coffee. First things first, remove the cap from the bottom, unscrew the base, Toss in one of the aluminum capsules and screw the base right back on again. Fill the top reservoir with boiling water and then pump. Ta-da! Espresso. Too easy. Doesn't taste too bad either for something that came out of an aluminum capsule. Next up, the Pico Presso, which requires a few more pieces of equipment to get the job done. But first, let's take apart the Pico Presso, which hides some accessories like a funnel and a tamp, and inside the portafilter is a coffee scoop. Before we make coffee, though, we're going to prime the whole system by pumping through some boiling water. But now, we grind. Oh yeah. Next up, we put our funnel on top of our portafilter and weigh out our coffee. Give it a little tamp. Reassemble the whole portafilter. Add more boiling water. Pop out the plunger and start to pump. Looks like we got some nice crema there. As for the taste, well, let's talk about that. Okay, well, I can definitely say the Pico Presso is um, a more involved process anyway. It is. I mean, you really have to play with it and endure some trial and error to get the grind just right. Pre-ground espresso didn't really work when we tried it. It did not. The shot pulled way too fast, so it tasted sour. But if you're a barista and you want total control of your espresso, this is the one for you. The mini presso was much easier and faster to use, but but to be honest, I hate those disposable pods. They're just so wasteful. I mean, most cities won't recycle them if you just toss them in the bin, so you have to take them to a Nespresso store or mail them in back to the brand, which is a certified B Corp, by the way. It's true. And you can request a mailer on their website. It's a free one, at least. And they do accept other brands' aluminum capsules, so that's a plus. That said, you can also get one of those reusable steel capsules and grind and fill it with your own coffee, but your results may vary. So these are two very different espresso makers for two very different groups of people. Uh, baristas and persnickety coffee folks are probably going to prefer the Pico Presso. Whereas folks who just want an easy quality cup of coffee anytime, anywhere, uh, are gonna lean more toward the Mini Presso NS. Just recycle your pods, guys. Pretty please. But there you have it. Let us know which you prefer or if you've tried either of these and what you think of them. And now I'm gonna go and drink too much coffee. But as always, we'll drop links in the description below where you can find both of these. In the meantime, be sure to check out Terra Drift on social and at terradrift.com. Stay caffeinated, my friends. And wander on.